Welcome back to the Niftify Masterclass Series, where we provide step-by-step -step guidance so that you can create your own NFT store and sell your NFTs in no time. In this episode, we will talk about how to integrate Google Analytics and Facebook Pixel into your store using the built-in features. With Niftify, the integration process for these tools is as simplified as it gets. To start integrating Google Analytics into your store in order to measure all your website metrics, such as your website traffic and conversion rates, you'll first need a Google Analytics account. Let's head over at the official Google Analytics website and create an account here. Fill in all the necessary information and proceed to create your property. Make sure that you put in the correct property name as this will later be shown in your Google Analytics. Next, expand the Advanced section and tick on Create a Universal Analytics Property. Paste in your store URL without the HTTPS part. And tick on Create a Universal Analytics Property Only. Click on Next. Fill in your business information and click on Create. When the registration process is completed, you'll be directed to a new page where you can view the tracking ID for your newly created property. Have the tracking ID for your website ready and in your store's admin panel, head over to Appearance, General, scroll down until you find the Google Analytics section and paste in your tracking ID here. Click on Save and Google Analytics should now be integrated into your store. To check if Google Analytics is working properly, go to your website and run a tag analysis using Tag Assistant. If it shows results similarly to what you're seeing here, your store should be all set. Now, whenever you open Google Analytics, you'll be able to get access to real-time and useful data with which you can get to create more successful marketing campaigns. As for integrating Facebook Pixel to measure the success of your Facebook or Instagram ads, the process here requires one more step of pasting in your Facebook Pixel metadata. First, you'll need to get your Facebook Pixel ID ready by going into your Facebook Business Manager and navigate down the Pixel setting under Data Sources. Here, you'll need to create a Pixel by clicking on Add. Fill in your Pixel name and your website address and click on Continue. When created, you should be able to see your Facebook Pixel ID like so. Go back to your store admin panel and paste the ID in Appearance, General, Facebook Pixel. And click on Save. To check if your Facebook Pixel ID was correctly registered, open your store and use Facebook Pixel Helper Extension to check. Since it looks like our Pixel ID was correctly registered to our website, we'll need to add it in the Pixel metadata. Let's head back into Facebook Business Manager and head to the Domain setting under Brand Safety. Here, add your domain in and copy the provided meta tag. Note that only the content of your metadata is needed here. Click on Save, and now we'll be able to verify our domain. Let's head back to Facebook Business Manager and click on Verify Domain. Your store should be all set if it shows a green verified like this. Now let's check what everything looks like after we have Facebook Pixel installed. Head over to your Pixels under Data Sources and click on your newly created Pixel. It should take a few hours to a few days for your new Pixel to register, but when everything looks perfect, you should be able to see website activities similarly to what you're seeing here. And when there's no activity or your events were incorrectly set up, you should be able to see error pages like these. And that's it for adding Google Analytics and Facebook Pixels into your store. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to get the latest updates about Niftify. Stay tuned and thank you for watching.